Fiber optic gyros. Even though the name sounds complicated, the concept behind them is not that hard to understand. Hi, Chris Kelly here for KVH Industries, and today I'm going to take you on a guided tour behind the scenes here at their manufacturing facility in Chicago. We're going to take a good long look at how these fiber optic gyros work and how they're made. Essentially, a gyroscope is a device that measures angular rotation so it can detect changes along one axis of an object's spatial orientation. For example, if there were three gyros aboard this plane, they could measure the angle of pitch as the plane climbs, the angle of roll as the plane leans into a turn, and the angle of yaw as the plane's heading changes as it turns. Once the gyro determines the object's rate of rotation, fast or slow, it can send that information digitally downstream to other products that will help stabilize the equipment. For example, a camera on a drone or a gun on a tank. The information can also be used for vehicle guidance and navigation as well. Fiber optic gyros like this one are also called FOGs for short. And before we head inside, let's take a little bit of a closer look at how these work in the real world. A fiber optic gyro works by sending two different beams of light in opposite directions around a closed path, and then it precisely measures the amount of time it takes for each beam to return to the starting point. If the fog is stationary, the beams will meet back at the starting point at the same time. But if the fog is rotated, then the beams will travel different distances before they recombine to the starting point. The beam moving around the loop in the direction of the rotation will take a longer path since the loop is moving with it. But the beam going against the rotation will have a shorter path since the loop, and therefore the finish line is moving towards it. And because the fog outputs hundreds of measurements every second, it delivers outstanding precision. Plus, there are no moving parts to wear out or be affected by shock or vibration. So now, let's head inside to the factory.